What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we're inside of Adobe After Effects, and this is our lesson wrap-up, so to speak. And what we're going to be doing here is that we're going to be doing a lesson that I uploaded the other day, which was called a movie title offset, so to speak. And so what we're going to be doing here is this right here. Let's try that again. And as you can see... Our text is animating on just like we did in a previous lesson and so that's basically what we're going to be doing here and as you can see we've got our each one of our elements here pre-composed and so it makes it so that we can easily edit our text without having to redo the animation over and over again so let's go ahead and jump into this one okay let's come over here to Composition, new composition, we're going to set the preset at HDV, black 15 seconds, and click OK. Let's go ahead and add in some text, and we're going to do Eerie Text Animation, colon. Okay, and so that is our text, and we want to get it to line up. right there let's go ahead and make it a 3d layer and then we're going to come here and click on t for opacity we're going to let's go ahead and <clears throat> excuse me let's make this to where we can actually see our frames a little bit better we want to get this down to as small as possible and we're going to go over to our tenth frame and actually we're going to change it to zero sorry then go over here to the tenth frame and put this at 100 and then their way that way it will run <clears throat> excuse me I mean it does it pretty quickly so let's go ahead and move this up to about the 20th frame okay so now it that's a little bit better okay so now we've got our text that animates on and so now we want to come over here and open it up, come over and choose Enable per Channel 3D. And then we want to go to Character Offset and let's come over to 10, click here, drag it over to 5, and change it to 4. Next thing we want to do is choose Range Selector and we want to set Range Selector at 1. And then move it over here to 25 and then put it at 100. Okay, so then it should look something like this. Okay, so that's basically what we want to happen. Okay, so now the next thing we want to do is come over here to Add Property Blur. We want to change this to 44 and then we should have our text write itself onto the screen very nicely. Okay, so now that we have all that done, let's go ahead and duplicate this layer, and we're going to name this one top, and then this one is going to be bottom. Okay, now the next thing we want to do here is that we want to move this layer over to here, and then let's go ahead and change this to 4, after Effects. At least I think I spelled that right. E-F-F-E-C-T-S. Yes, there we go. So now we've got both of them coming on very nicely. Let's go ahead and drag this all the way out. And then it finishes right there. So then we're going to drag this one to here. And this one to here as well. And then we're going to move it over. And so, oops, put that there. So then it will be like this. Okay, so we can move this over just a little bit more. Don't want it to take up too much time trying to write itself onto the screen. There it goes. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to select both of these items, go to Layer, 
pre-compose and then we'll name this darkness and we want to move all attributes into the new composition click on OK and now we have this let's come back into darkness let's try this again I'm sorry now we want to trim to comp area so okay that's all we need right there so it's a little bit over four seconds let's go okay now we got four seconds right here now that's all we need okay now we've got it going okay now let's come over here we're not going to duplicate this layer we're going to come up here and duplicate it so we're going to duplicate this layer drop it in and then we're going to move this one over to here go inside of this one and then we are going to change our text to and then we're going to come over and change the text on this one okay so we need to change this okay now let's move this over to here and then that looks good so that's basically what it will look like so we got by Wayne Barron which we need to change that text to okay that's better and we also need to change the text on this one as well I don't know why it does that. Sometimes while you're sitting there typing, it will automatically change the font without you wanting the font to be changed. Okay, so now let's come back over here. Let's move this to there. And move this one over. We also need to change the font size. And let's also change the font size of this one. Let's move it over. And now let's go ahead and get rid of our title action safe. I need to drop this down just a little bit. Okay, and then that should take care of that. All right, so now let's come back over here to our composition. And then it should run like so. So let's come over and let's go back inside of our darkness. Let's go to right here. Okay, and we're going to choose both of these. Let's go to the opacity and let's create a keyframe for both of them. And then let's drop down to the end and hit zero. And that will uh, let it fade out and then we're going to do the same thing here and we're going to choose both of these hit T create a keyframe for both of these go to the end hit zero okay so now whenever it comes to the end it will fade out and then the other part will start so alright uh, I hope that y'all learned a lot from these lessons and from this wrap up and um, I hope that y'all can use this. I mean, this right here is going to be used in a future project that I've got getting ready to start. So, uh, but anyway, Wayne Barron here with DarkEffects.net inside of Adobe After Effects CS6. And everything that I've done here can be done in near about any version of After Effects. So y'all don't have to worry. It's available in everything. So, all right, Wayne Barron, DarkEffects.net. Y'all have a rocking rest of the weekend. Bye-bye.